Hello, everybody. Um, today, I'm going to be walking us through the sequence I'm doing uh, for my final practicum at Three Queens Yoga. Um, so we're going to start in a seated meditation. Um, on the mat in a cross-legged position, feel free to use a block here um, to sit on. And we're just gonna start um, by taking a couple grounding breaths here. Feeling the temperature of the room around us. Filling up the lungs all the way and just focusing on the present moment. Just feel your limbs melt into the mat. Let your spine come to neutral. And take a moment here to honor your heart and how far you've come in this training. I know for me right now, there's still a lot of transition in my life. There's um, a lot of changes happening, uh, both in the world and in the studio, in our yoga community, our kula. Uh, but these are all wonderful changes. Can you take a moment to remember when you first came to training and how you felt then versus how you feel now? Think of the anxiety you must have had taking something so uh, crazy and um, difficult when things were already difficult. Uh, we had a worldwide pandemic going on. Everything was closed. Uh, it was very hard to connect with others. You probably felt isolated, trapped. Maybe you were feeling a lot of self-doubt, self uncertainty about the future. And maybe that's what brought you here to Three Queens or to our training over the course of the last 12 months. And maybe if it hadn't been for a worldwide sickness, you would not have been motivated to do this for yourself, for your family, for greater knowledge and focus and presence and what role you played in all of it. Maybe what roles you've put on in the past that you want to shed or change. Think about how through all this adversity, through all this social change, political climate changes and just the changes you've noticed through all the knowledge you've gained in this program. How do you feel today? I know for me, I am so grateful to be here today with all of you after such a journey. how many memories we have shared together and all the things we have gained from teaching yoga together, 
it just brings me incredible joy. So that will be the theme of Josh and I's sequence today is just remembering the success we've had, the things we are still working on, the things that will always be changing, growing, shifting, evolving in both our hearts and our minds and how this is proof that we can overcome those things. That coming together like this as a community on our mats gives us the strength we need to get through anything. another deep grounding breath here and thank yourself. Can you take some of the loving energy that you give yourself now and breathe it out into the room for each other? Now we're going to place our hands in front of our hearts in Anjali Mudra. And we'll take one grounding on together to begin our practice. Deep breath in. One, two, Bow to yourself, bow to your co-teachers, and we'll begin in mountain pose at the top of our mats. Make sure you have two blocks and a strap nearby. Here, you're gonna ground down through all four corners of the toes and heels, hug the thighs to the midline, Feel that power and energy climb up through the legs into your pelvis. And as you ground down here, reach down and out through the fingertips and reach the shoulders up and back, keeping the spine neutral and the core pulled in. And on an inhale, reach up towards the sky. Maybe bend back a little and on your exhale, Come down and fold. Taking hands to the floor or blocks in front of you, you're going to inhale. And as you pull the fingertips back on the floor of the blocks, root the pelvis down towards the heels and then lift the heels up towards the pelvis. Keeping that engagement, inhale, reach through the crown of the head, look forward. Extend through the spine and on your exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up, arms overhead, and on an exhale, forward fold. Linking breath to movement here. So go at your own pace. We're just getting started here. So feel how your body feels today. and emanate the joy that is in this room in all of our hearts. On an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And on your next inhale, reach up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Stretch up through the fingertips and exhale, forward fold. Step or jump back to plank here. Ground down through all four corners of the mat. Keep your biceps turning inward. Press through the knuckle pads of your hands. Reach out through the crown of the head and gaze forward. And in this plank, lower down all the way to the mat. Tack the toes into the mat. Tack, push the pelvis into the mat. 
taking your thumbs to the sides of your chest, you're gonna reach your elbows up and back onto the back. And as you inhale, energetically, pull your fingers and hands back in space. As you reach through the chest and the crown of the head, keep sweeping the inner shins out and tacking the toes down. And with every inhale, pull back a little more with the shoulders. Take the shoulders up, back, and down, and reach your heart forward just a little bit more. Breathing here, embracing the heart, the mind, the body you are in today. And on an exhale, lower back down to the mat, keeping the shoulders in and back. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lift the hips back to downward facing dog. First dog of the day. So keep a slight bend in your knees here. As you push down and forward through the knuckle pads and the fingertips of the hands, keep the biceps turning out and inward so that you don't hyperextend the elbows. Keep a slight micro bend in the elbows here. And as you push out through the fingertips, see if you can straighten and push the thighs back just a little bit. Keep rooting the tailbone to the heels here to prevent the back from going into an arch. So keep rooting the tailbone back towards the opposite wall. Breathing deeply here and exhale. Feel that space opening in your calves and your side bodies. And on an inhale, step or jump forward to standing position again at the top of your mat. Inhale, rise up to mountain. Root down through the feet again. Hug the inner thighs and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, fingertips to floor or blocks. Reach out and through the crown of the head. Reach the tailbone back and down to extend through the spine. And on an exhale, forward fold. On that same exhale, come to a plank again, lower back down to the mat. Inhale, cobra, baby cobra. Tack the feet down, the pelvis down. Push the hands down, shoulder blades up, down, up, back, and down as you reach out through the heart, push the heart forward. Breathe here and then exhale, lower back down. Inhale, plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, square the hips to the top of the mat, step it through to a low lunge. Through rooting through strong legs, strong, loving legs that have seen adversity through this past year. You're gonna feel that power climb up through your pelvis. And as you inhale, reach out through the spine. Feel that power lift your torso up to crescent lunge. Feel it climb all the way up into your fingertips as you gaze towards where the ceiling and the wall meet. Inhale here, ribs back, shoulders back. See if you can bend just a little bit in the upper torso. And on an exhale, hands back to floor or blocks. And then come to plank, lower back down. Tag the toes, inhale. Cobra, baby cobra. Exhale. Come to plank and back through to downward facing dog. Feel the breath. Open up your body. On an inhale, take the left leg up and back. Square the hips again. Keep hugging towards the midline and step it through to lunge on the opposite side. Using the blocks if you need more space between the upper, between the left thigh and the torso, do so. 
And as you square your hips towards the front of the mat, keep pulling the front heel back as you pull the back toes forward. And use that power to lift you up to crescent lunge. Feel the energy climb up through your pelvis. Tuck your belly in, tuck your shoulders back, ribs back, and then sweep the arms towards the sky. Lean back just a bit here on your inhale. Exhale, lower the hands back to the mat. Keep pulling the legs together and come back to plank. Lower down with strong arms. On your inhale, reach up, cobra, baby cobra. Push the heart forward. And then on your exhale, come back down. Tack the elbows back. Push up to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. I'm gonna go through that one more time here. So inhale, take the right leg up and back. Step through to lunge. Square the hips. Hug the feet towards the midline and sweep up. Take the shoulders back, the ribs back, the heart back. And exhale, windmill the arms back to the ground. Come back to plank. Vinyasa here. Through to downward facing dog. Follow your breath and not my pace. Go at your own pace. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Come through to a little lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, cobra, baby cobra. Exhale, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. See if there's any newfound space here as you reach the fingertips forward and the tailbone back. And can you push the heels just a little bit closer to the mat? And on an inhale, lift your right leg up to a bend and try to square the hips here and hold as you straighten the back leg. One breath here, bend the leg again, put it back down on the mat. Keep strong arms here, rooting down through the knuckle pads and the inner thumbs. Reach the left leg to the sky, keeping the hips squared, the shoulders squared, push out through the knuckle pads. And this will be the feeling we want as we move closer to our peak pose later in the class. On an inhale, lift the right leg up, step through, low lunge. Turn the back heel into a 45 degree angle at the back of your mat. Walk the hands inside the front leg. And on an inhale, come up to warrior one, warrior two. As you push out through the, as you push out through the front toe mounds, reach the back hand back in space to, to straighten the torso here. And with every inhale, push down and, and pull back with the front heel as you push in with the inner toe of the back foot. Keep rooting the left hip back in space and open the right knee to the side of the mat. See if you can bend a little deeper here. And on an inhale, windmill the arms back to frame the front foot. Spin the back heel up towards the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa here if you would like. So you would inhale to plank. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, cobra. 
Exhale, come through to plank and downward facing dog again. On an inhale, lift the left leg up and back energetically. Come through to low lunge. Spin the back heel to parallel at the back of your mat. On an inhale, rise up to warrior two, side two. Keep pushing the right hip back in space as you open the left knee to the side of the mat. Hug in through the inner thighs here. Feeling that power climb up into your torso. Maybe lean back a little. Keeping the torso parallel to the mat. Arms up and back, shoulders in the sockets. Stretch out through the fingertips. Breathing here. Feeling that power, that engagement, that inner knowledge course through you. Connecting your mind to your body, body to your mind, and your mind to your breath. And come back down on an exhale, spin the back heel up, take the left leg back into downward facing dog again. On an inhale, reach the right leg up, step through, Come to wide-legged fold. So parallel the feet to one side of your mat, to the left side of your mat. As you, I'm gonna turn so you can see me here. Uh, have a wide enough stance here that you can reach out and extend through the crown of the spine, evenly distributing the weight between all four corners of your feet. Hug the quads in so that you feel that muscular energy climb up through your legs here, keeping you stable, just like we all keep each other stable in this ever-changing world. Through strong fingertips, pull back in space as you reach the heart forward. Option here to use blocks in front of you. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take your hands to your hips. Rise up through strong legs and come to a wide-legged stance. From here, option to use a strap or clasp the hands behind the back at the tailbone, keeping a bend in the elbows here. Rooting down through the outer corners of your toes, can you turn your inner heels in, and as you inhale, ground through the feet as you pull the arms back in space, lifting them up from your tailbone, keep the shoulders up and back, keep the ribs back, and with the, the inhale, keep doing so, and exhale, forward fold. Keeping the engagement in your legs this entire time. Reach out through the crown of your head. And as you reach your heart forward, can you pull your hands back just a little bit more? Inhale. Exhale. Careful not to lock out the elbows here. And on exhale, release. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, re-bend the front leg. Frame the front foot again. Spin the back heel up and downward facing dog. Option here to take a rest if you need it. Uh, we all know that resting is not a weakness, but an inner intuition that we all crave, that we all need, and that should always be honored. On an inhale, lift your right leg up, step through to lunge. Lower the back knee to the ground. Take your front foot slightly wider and on and take your inner and take your hands inside your front leg. 
as you pull the back knee forward, pull the front heel back in space, hugging towards the midline to square the hips here. And as you inhale, reach out through the crown of the head. Breathing, pushing the front knee into the front forearm by the leg here. And if you can, come up to a 90 degree angle. Keep the front foot directly below the front knee. And square the hips here. And on an inhale, take the left arm back to grab the left foot. Pull the left foot towards the left butt and keep pushing your left knee down and forward, feeling that deep thigh stretch. Keep pulling the front heel back. And if you can, sweep the right hand overhead. Pull the pelvis back, the ribs back, the throat back, shoulders up and back. Breathe out through the fingertips and push down through that knee. And on an inhale, release. Take the, um, take the front foot in again to a low lunge. And using blocks to frame your front foot, we're gonna come to pyramid pose. So straight, keeping a micro bend in the front leg, straighten the right thigh bone and extend through the crown and the spine, taking the shoulders up and back as you extend through the spine. Keep pushing out and down through the back toe mounds. And with every inhale, reach forward with the head and push the thigh bone back. Option here to take the right hand to the right hip to square the hips a little bit more to the front of the mat, feeling that deep stretch in the back of the leg here. Inhale, exhale. And as you exhale, Option to hinge forward to deepen that stretch. Make sure you are keeping a micro bend in the front knee. With every inhale, reach out through the crown of the head and every exhale, maybe forward fold. One more breath here. Keep hugging the legs in towards the midline. Exhale, forward fold. On an exhale, re-bend the front knee and step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg towards the sky, square the hips to the front of the mat, step through energetically to a low lunge. Lower the back knee down, take the outer hand inside the front foot, keep hugging the left forearm to the left thigh, as you press and using that energy, frame the hips, push the hips so that they're square. Root down through the front heel and pull it back as you root down through the back knee and push it forward. And on inhale, reach out through the crown of the head. Come up to a 90 degree angle in your torso. Make sure the front heel is again directly below the front knee and square the hips. Take the right hand back to grab the right foot. And as you kick the hand into the foot, take the shoulder back and pull it towards your butt. Keep squaring the hips and pushing that knee down and forward into the mat as you take the left heel down and back to meet the knee. Keep pulling up through the right shoulder, keeping it back in space, and maybe take the left hand up to the sky. Reach out through strong fingertips, 
And with every inhale, see if you can kick back just a little bit more. Shoulders back, heart back. Breath to movement. And careful as you release, lower the foot back down to the mat. Reframe the front leg using the floor or blocks. Come back to a lunge, lifting the back knee, and on an inhale, straighten that front leg, pyramid pose. Keep lifting that front kneecap towards the thigh bone and see if you can square the hips again. Keep rooting down and pushing out through the back toe mounds. Option here to take the left hand to the left hip and push it back in space. Keep pulling the back toes forward as you turn the inner heel of the front foot in. And pull the hands back as you reach out through the crown of the head. And with every exhale, option here to hinge forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale forward, hold. Inhale, reach out through your heart, through strong legs, extending through the spine, through that back calf and quad, and exhale forward, hold. On an exhale, re-bend the front knee, reframe the front foot, and come back to downward facing dog, this home base that we all know and love. You also have the option here to come down and rest, sit back on your heels, take a few grounding breaths here. Remembering how far you've come, how much deeper a knowledge you have of all of these poses, of how they interplay together, just like all of our different experiences interplay together to create this incredible wealth of knowledge we all share together of the world, of our backgrounds, of our experiences, our traumas, our tendencies, all mixed together in a beautiful collage of intuition and inner knowing. And come to all fours, maybe shake out those toes if you were sitting on your heels. Um, and now we're going to do a demo of one of our peak poses, which is handstand. So I'm going to bring my, I'm going to demo on a wall here for you all. Um, I always recommend doing a handstand by a wall and not in the middle of a room in case you fall. Um, so I'm going to do mine here, and hopefully you can see. Um, so uh, make sure you are not near anything that can break. <laughs> uh, and here in the studio, we have lots of space. Um, you're going to start in a downward facing dog about a handprint or a handprint and a half away from the wall. Keep the biceps turning in like you're turning and opening some jars with your hands and square in the hips so that the knees are directly below the hips here. Keep a neutral spine and reach out through the crown of the head. Lift the knees up and come into a downward facing dog. Now you have several options here because we all have different uh, capabilities in our bodies today. That could change from day to day. We all know that the world is always changing. Our bodies are always shifting to accommodate these changes. Um, so option here is to step one leg in about a third of the way to your hands and lift the opposite leg, squaring it to the front of the mat, just feeling this posture. 
and how it is in your body. And lowering that foot back down. Uh, you can play around with this on the opposite side. So bring the opposite leg in about a third of the way and lift that opposite leg. Keep the hips squared and put most of your power in the knuckle pads of your hands. Don't put too much weight in the wrists and reach out, stretch out through the shoulders. So you want a lot of engagement here in the arms and the biceps and the knuckle pads. And if your handstand is ready today, you can do that same motion. Kick one leg up towards the sky, bend in your kick leg, and on an exhale, kick up to the wall. Let the other leg meet and keep flexing through the toes as your gaze keeps looking towards where the wall and the floor meet. Keep pushing it out and down through strong knuckle pads, rooting down through all 10 fingertips. And as you take the ribs back, take the shoulders up and back, maybe kick the legs off the wall just a bit. and come back down. Uh, you can try the opposite side here. Take your time, take as much time as needed. Always keep the gaze in front of you towards the wall and push out through the knuckle pads. Careful not to put too much pressure on your wrist here and see if you can take one or both feet off the wall and come back down. About 30 more seconds here, practicing by the wall. Um, and after that, we're gonna, uh, you can keep your bridge, excuse me, you can keep your mat by the wall. Uh, we won't need to move it. So just be where you are and come down to your back. Uh, make sure you have your blocks ready. So on your mats here after our handstand session, we're going to do some heart opening. So keep your feet directly below your knees here. Keep rooting the pelvis and all the vertebrae of the spine into the mat here. Give me a neutral spine. Root the elbows down right next to the rib cage here with robot arms almost. Uh, reach the fingertips directly to the sky and just push down through the biceps or triceps. And as you push the feet down, or excuse me, push the heels down and forward, lift the hips up. Keep the torso in line by rooting the back of your skull to the mat and lifting your chin up slightly. So most of the bend is in your lower spine here. And with every inhale, push down and forward with the heat feel. <laughs> push down and forward through the feet and down into the mat with the base of the skull and the elbows. Feeling your heart come forward. Keep sweeping the inner heels out and hug the inner thighs in. And keep that engagement. Just like we have been engaged through this whole practice, this whole training. Open your heart, open your mind to changes, the ever-shifting world, the realm in which we live, and gently lower back down. Feel how this is in your body, maybe readjust. And on our next 
Inhale, we're gonna come up into either another bridge or a wheel pose. So to do so, uh, you can also take a block in between your thighs here for added engagement. So to, as you lift your hips, keep hugging the inner thighs in to keep the block steady. And as you root down through the heels, root down through the skull and the triceps, lift up again, pushing the knees forward and the heart, excuse me, push the knees away from you as you push the heart forward towards the wall. Option here to clasp the hands behind the back and wiggle the shoulder blades slightly further underneath the spine. Keep a bend in the elbows as you reach the heart forward, press the throat back. Push the knees and the toes forward, hug the block, drink in the breath. And from here, you can take your hands, keeping your hips lifted. You're gonna take your hands and turn them inward by your ears and keep hugging the inner biceps to the ears and energetically push out through strong arms to straighten the biceps. Make sure your hands are directly below your shoulders here. And as you push out through the heels, push down and forward with the biceps. Keep hugging the feet and the inner thighs together. With every inhale, reach your heart just a little bit more forward. Breathing deeply here. And after three to five breaths, and I'll gently lower your head back to the surface of the earth. Remove the block from your thighs. Knock the knees in. Take the arms to, to a, a goal post or T and just breathe here. Feeling how open your heart is. Feeling the Shakti, the Spanda of all of our muscles shine out into the room. Can you feel the love and the spanda of those around you? Slow down the inhale, slow down the exhale. And now you can windshield wiper your feet from side to side neutralizing the spine and maybe on an exhale, let the knees fall to one side for a second. Take the left leg, excuse me, left heel over the right thigh for a deeper stretch. Turn to gaze the right side of the room. Breathe here. Let gravity, let your body surrender to gravity. Surrender to the self. And on inhale, come back to neutral. And on exhale, let the knees fall gently to the right. Turn the gaze to the left side of your mat. Take the right heel over the left thigh bone and breathe here again. Taking attention to slow down the exhale, pause before the, excuse me, slow down the ex inhale, pause before the slow exhale. And you can come back to knees directly below the knees. <laughs> knees directly above the heels. Take your right heel and cross it over the base of your left thigh here. 
interlace your hands underneath this to clasp the bottom of the left thigh. And as you push down, as you push out and to the right with your right knee, flex both feet and pull the left shin in towards your heart. Keep pushing the left heel into the left thigh bone. The supine pigeon. Option here to straighten the lifted leg. Keep rooting the pelvis to the mat. And on an in exhale release and switch sides. So take your left heel to the base of your right thigh, interlace hand behind the right shin, pull it towards your heart. And with every inhale, reach out to the left with your left knee and down and forward with your left heel, keeping the toes flexed. Option here to straighten the leg. Keep the spine neutral and release. And for our final stretch before Shavasana, you're gonna to wanna to strap. Um, so take both feet to flat and parallel on your mat so that you're in a lying down position. Lift one leg, lift the left leg up, interlace or loop the strap around the ball mound of the foot here. And as you flex through both feet, push the thigh, push the right thigh and the right calf down to the mat as you straighten the left foot up towards the sky. Keep a slight micro bend uh, and feel free to fully extend the left knee here. Supine hand to big toe pose, this is called. And option here to take both ends of the strap into your right hand and slowly open the hand out, excuse me, open the leg to the left side of the mat. Keeping the toes flexed and the pushing out through the toe mound here. Can you feel the stretch deepen your inner thigh? Maybe take one hand and press down into the right hip bone to keep the pelvis neutral. And on an inhale, take it back up to center. And if space allows, take both straps into one hand and take the foot to the opposite side of the room to stretch that IT band. Keep pushing out through the ball mounds of the feet. And make sure the resting foot stays pointed towards the ceiling so it doesn't flop over. Keep pulling the left hip back and slowly release. We're going to do that same series on the opposite side. Um, so inter interlace the strap on the ball mound of your right foot. Keep both feet flexed as you push out through both kneecaps and straighten the lifted leg to the ceiling. Keep pushing out through the ball mound and keep pulling back with the strap, rooting the shoulders down and in. Keep the tailbone tucked into the mat so you're not arching here. Root down, engaged, but still being open to changes. And thanking your body today for all that it has done. 
and gently take both straps into one hand and open the leg to the right side of your mat. Option here to root the left hip down into the mat with your hand. Manual adjustment here. Keep pointing both feet and pushing out. And come back to neutral. Take the foot to the opposite side of the room, stretching the outer quad and calf of the right leg. Keep pushing out and forward with the toe mound. And keep the tailbone neutral. Feeling that twist here in the visceral organs. Adjust the strap as needed. And on an inhale, come back to neutral. Release the strap, lower the leg back down to the mat. And come take, uh, oh, sorry, we have one more pose. Um, take any variation of happy baby you would like today. So that could be taking the inner, the outer edges of both feet into both hands and pushing the forearms into the inner hip shin bones and pulling them towards the mat. Ananda Balasana, happy baby. Can rock side to side here. Bring the tailbone down and bend one leg and then the other. Take whatever final poses you need today before Shavasana. This is in these few closing moments that we take some sacred breaths together and remember how far we have come in this training. all that we have learned, all that we have discovered about each other and ourselves and in our hearts, how we view the world, how it's shifted, how we view ourselves and how the scope of the world translates into our daily lives and how yoga is not just a practice on a mat, but it's a lifestyle that we all embrace. Um, if we didn't embrace it, we wouldn't be here together today. So just think about that. And how challenging some of those days were on Zoom for hours and hours, not being able to see each other in person. And now here we are together celebrating our journey, which is not even close to over. This is only the beginning. Just acknowledge that as you take some of the deepest, slowest breaths you have taken today. Slow down the inhale. Slow down the exhale. Be with your breath and be with your kula in these final moments. How do you feel? How will you carry this feeling off the mat? 
even if you don't plan to teach after this training? How will it change the way you interact with those around you? How will your energy manifest differently? Maybe not necessarily in a better way, but a more aligned way, a more engaged way of living. One that honors the body, the heart, the mind, and how they're all connected, how we are all connected. How much stronger we are in the present moment versus living in the past or the future. And it has been a gift, one of the greatest gifts I have ever received to be here with you all on this training. to be a part of this family, of this Kula, and of this studio. Take a moment to thank yourself for embarking on this new chapter in your life, this taking on this new lens of seeing how our behavior affects those around us and our own relationship to our inner knowing and intuition. Slowly bring yourself to a seated position facing one another. for opening our hearts, our minds, and our bodies together is to all of you I bow. On an inhale, let's all take an arm together. Thank you. All right, thank you, bye everybody.